All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about using the order of operations. And the order of operations just gives us a consistent way to do arithmetic so that basically everybody's uh, on the same page because depending on the orders in, in which you do things, you can get dif different answers. So we just need a way to be uniform um, and, again, just to provide some consistency. So what it says is we first do anything in parentheses or brackets. Next, uh, we do we evaluate anything, any exponents. Uh, next comes multiplication and division, and those have equal priority, kind of do things uh, left to right. And then comes addition and subtraction. Again, you can kind of do things left to right. Addition and subtraction is a little less uh, picky, though. You have to be careful with the multiplication and division, as you'll see. So to memorize this, uh, P-E-M-D-A-S, PEMDAS, some people will say, just use that. They'll say, hey, uh, to evaluate this, we have to use PEMDAS. So they're just talking about the order of operations. Um, I always heard, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So you'll probably hear me say that um, maybe once or twice. So let's do a couple examples. So here we've got 2 times 4 squared. When I look at this, I see two things happening. Well, I see multiplication. And then I also see exponents. Well, I think, which one of those two things do I do first? Well, it said, in our little hierarchy, it said, hey, exponents come uh, before we do any sort of multiplication. Uh, so we'll do the exponents. So remember, 4 squared, that's the same thing as 4 times 4, which would give us 16. And now we can simply do 2 times 16, which is 32. And that'll be our solution. Notice if we multiplied first and got 8, and then squared it, we would have got 8 times 8, or 64, which is clearly something totally different. So uh, again, this is why we have to have uh, you know, this, this uniform procedure. Um, so 32 is our correct answer. Let's look at uh, the next one here, negative 2 to the fourth power. And I would say this type of example is certainly one of the ones that people make mistakes on a lot. Because uh, the correct thing to do, and let me show this real quick. Uh, so let's do it correctly first. When we have a negative, we really mean negative 1 times whatever's over here. So we would have negative 1 times 2 to the fourth. Well, again, by the example we just did, we have to do exponents first. So 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Let's see, so 2 squared is 4 times another 2 is 8 times another 2 is 16. So then we'll get negative 1 times 16, which is, well, negative 16. And that's definitely our correct answer. What a lot of people will do, again, incorrectly, so be careful about this. So what's incorrect is a lot of people will say, they'll, they'll kind of do this in their head. They'll actually do negative 2 all raised to the fourth power. And notice then you would have, well, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 neg times negative 2, but that would give you positive 16. Um, well, notice there's definitely something different between negative 16 and positive 16. And again, the first one is the correct way. If you interpret it this way, that's not right. And again, it's very easy to do. So I always, uh, my own self, when I did these, I used to always insert the negative one just to make sure that I did it correctly.